Hello everyone, this is Sharing Creations by Carrie. It's Carrie, hope you're doing well. This is round two of the video. <laughs> I thought I was being cute and figuring out how to edit out spots. And I ended up editing out half the video. So thankfully it's not a long one. And it's not a lot, but it's the other half of my Timu haul. Or other part, there's only nine items. So it should be fairly quick. There's some craft items and not craft items. I will start with the things that I will tell you flat out do not buy. Two reasons. If you have a nail UV light, cool. But if you don't, don't bother. And the size of the bottles, because of the texture of them. You don't get a lot. I get. I understood that there was the bottles were small. Nail polish. These are supposed to be um, gel nail polish. Super thick. Does not dry. And I've purchased um, gel nail polish in Walmart and didn't need a UV light for them. And I just painted my nails, top coat, and. They were fine, lasted like a week, like typical nail polish does. A little tougher than your basic nail polish. And then this one, which is, they have it on to discontinue now. Um, this is a cat eye. Um, I don't have a nail UV light. I have a UV light that's for resin, but you can't use it on your nails. But it would... So sorry, I spent an hour screwing around with one of these items, so I apologize for the yawning, but I will keep you from purchasing it, so um, I don't have a UV light for nail polish, but I do for resin, and you can't use it for your nails. Um, this is the one that you can make the designs with the magnet. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, you don't need to purchase one of those magnets. Um, I took the bar the bar magnet out of my um, fake Misty, and it works. Although, it did not go on smooth. So you got the color on the sides, but I was getting a gray black in the middle. And that was, and I even tried a second coat, and it didn't, it didn't put the color in the center of my nail, only on the edges. So it was really irritating. So I think this was a dollar and some change, and these were 89 cents. Don't bother. I would say, if you were just looking for a variety of color, and you like to collect nail polish, and you do your own nails, and you wanted a different color, and you wanted your stash to be a good amount, don't go to Timu. These are two different companies, two different brands, and neither one of them were worth anything. We'll skip them. <coughs> um, I'll jump over to this. I got a mic. It's a, a video that I saw on the reviews. The... The sound quality sounded really good with this one, even though it looks like a kid's one. Um, there was a guy who had hooked his up to his phone, and literally, you could literally hear the difference of the quality of the mic from his phone to the mic, this mic, and it was crisp and clear, and it's not supposed to pick up background sound. And right now, my cat's yapping at me, and you. Possibly could hear it. <laughs> um, but however, I didn't realize that it needed a connector to hook up to your phone. And in the reviews, it was saying iPhone. Everybody was commenting about iPhones needing the connection for iPhones. Didn't even make the connection that, hmm, I probably need a connector, which I can't remember if originally they had it in the. Um, 
door and then it was excuse me out of stock so I didn't even pay attention to it and now I have to get a connector for it to hook up to my phone I think I have one in my cart but I think I'm going to take it out and get a different one because the one I picked has a charger on it but I don't I don't think it needs a charger if it's hooking up to your phone then it's taking the juice right from your phone so I was getting one that had a charger port for it but now I'm thinking like I need it so back to the nail stuff um, I got these which they're like dots and circles um, in the picture it looks like they're solid colored pieces and they're supposed to have a holograph to them but this is definitely not what the picture showed so in essence if you take a picture of these you can get a certain color but you're not getting the color that of their photo so I was a little disappointed the fact that these were supposed to be varying shades of blue and teals and it's not but if you play with it in the holograph you might get a little bit of it it's pretty it's just not what I thought I was getting and so yeah disappointed and the disappointment continues these were in pouches which I thought cool yep six colors it was like 89 cents for it wasn't like it's super expensive um my box is a little cloudy because i have um that embossing powder it is the it's a little they're little triangles and they're a little bit holographic to it these things are a nightmare super staticky and the pouches i thought they kind of did like the um ziploc type locked no they vacuum sealed them <clears throat> so you literally only get to pull out how many of you need and then tape it and it was a strip you can probably see in the order link this is the continuation of two videos ago this i'm so sorry i spent probably an hour at the minimum putting them in these containers super staticky the only thing that saved me from just chucking it in the trash was the anti-static pouch i still the entire time i was doing it i was ready to chuck them because they're so staticky and they put them in a vacuum sealed pouch. I don't know what the heck they were thinking. They show you the back, the, the pouch where it's five, uh, six compartments. Cool. But at least make it to where it's not a one and done use. And then you couldn't get it. I, then I struggled to get it out of the pouch because it was a it pretty. It's even thicker than these little baggies that you get. And I'm sure if you've ordered something small from Timo, you'd see these little vacuum seal pouches. The plastic was even stronger than this plastic. Insanely tough plastic. But they vacuum sealed it. And they should have put some kind of anti-static anti -static thing. So we're going to go to this. This is a sugar, it's a nail powder. It's glittery nail powder. Um, I actually did it on my nails. 
if you're good at nails, which I am not, and it looks like I bumped it, chunked out a big section. Um, I'm planning on using this in my crafts, but I wanted to try it on my nails to see if it was any good for anybody who wanted to use, actually use it on their nails. One coat pretty much gives you this frosty blue sparkles. And they have six colors. They're all pastel. That was two coats. So I don't understand what happened with my polish job. <laughs> but I did a, a top coat and I dipped it. And then I did a top coat, dipped it, top coat. And then another top coat. Um, you can still feel the glitter through the top coats. Um, people were saying that they were sanding them so that they would be smooth and that it was chunking out. That's the reviews that I read. I definitely can feel it, and I thought putting a second top coat on would make the difference of not feeling the glitter, but you still do. So, if you're good at doing the powders, I would, I guess, uh, make sure you do a base coat of a top coat. And you could have it, have it over on top. Like, if you did one coat, that would be pretty old. If you get a base color, and then you do a top coat over it, and then dip it. And then do a top coat. That would be super pretty because you get the blue sparkles. It's lavender, pink, yellow, orange, and I think green. And it was pretty full. I used quite a bit. Because the next item that I used, I did it on a little wooden snowflake. So I did some nail polish top coat, dipped it in, did another. Uh, top coat, dipped it in, and then top coated it. It's a very pretty snowflake. It's messy like mica powder. It's messy like embossing powder. More like embossing powder. But it's messy. It's super pretty though. Because that'll be gorgeous on a card. But I got these little wooden pieces. And of course, you still can't see it because it's not in frame. Too many little pieces. So you get 18 pieces, 18 styles. You get 100 pieces. And the variety is very much Christmas. Except for the heart. I don't know where the heart plays into Christmas. I'm still trying to figure that one out. But I tried to make it like a candy cane. <laughs> But I just painted them with it using different things like these are shoe polish markers from from Dollar Tree. Uh, my paint markers, regular marker. Um, the um, marker that you you do over the, the image of a wax melt. That's where the silver came in. I thought that the this one right here was cute. It could be universal as you could use it as a balloon. Just put it on your card, decorate it any way you want. And then have a string come off of it. Or even a, a tiny strip of paper. Make a string. So I thought that was cute being universal. Um, then you got the little, little gnome. You got the little Santa. The angel, and I use paint markers on most of it. These were fun. They're super cute. I plan to use them on cards. I think I'm going to definitely make some more of these. That'll be beautiful on a card. So, you can do like some, do an, a plain embossing, and then put those on it. With a sentiment. Ooh, would be a beautiful card too. So. Thought those were cute and fun. And you get a lot of them so. 
And I got the, the little tape dispenser. It was uh, 44, 44 cents or 74 cents. 64 cents. I thought I was getting a six pack, but apparently I changed my mind along the way and only got one. But the roll is pretty decent size. So I'm going to save this for those special projects. And it looks like it's possibly dots too. And it's not just a strip, it looks like it's dots because there's lines. That's a grid pattern. I don't, know. I don't know how those work. Somebody said that they work pretty good, but they don't have a lot on them, so. What do you do? So that is the rest of my order. There was only nine things that they could have shipped in the other package. Um, I had to redo this because I showed the package, but I also showed my address. So I tried to edit it. But they literally sent the nine items in this. And they literally could have put it in the other bag. It literally made no sense to me. I'm like, are you serious? Oh, we're splitting it up so you get your order in a reasonable time. Yeah, this didn't help the cause. Because these literally could have been thrown in the other one. But there was a few things that I wanted to try. Like I wanted to try this powder. I wanted to try their nail polish. Um... And so now we know, don't buy the nail polish. <laughs> and when you look at these little shaker pieces, they're not always as they seem. If they say holograph, you're not going to get the color that you see. So if you want little pieces like this, look for ones that don't say holograph. Holographic. It's a cute, cute shaker stuff. It's just... Not what the picture showed. So, but I will definitely use them. So I was just hoping for a little bit of different colors. So, anyway, I'm going to start babbling now because I'm tired and yawning. It's rude. <laughs> so, if you have any questions, let me know in the comment section. Um, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit subscribe. If you like anything you saw in this order, give me a thumbs up. And two videos ago is the link. But if you want a link for any any one particular thing and you don't want to go look for that other video, which has some really cool stuff in that one too, you definitely have to go back and look at that one. There were some cards that I made using the dies. That, the dies are pretty cool. So go back to go <laughs> check that one out too. And thanks for watching and I'll catch you on the next one. Bye.